Hey, what's up, humans? Welcome back to Jade Empire. This is episode three. Or in the last episode, we had to take care of some bandits on the shores of two rivers. And uh, when we got there, then there was this assassin sorcerer guy who screamed really loudly and summoned the dead. And then Master Lee punched his boat and blew it up. And then chopped him in the throat and killed him. And then we came back here. And then Gal the Lesser has been a pain in our ass. No. He has. Gal the Lesser was a pain in our ass. And we, uh... We had to f fight him. And then he chose dirty tactics after he was down. And, uh... Yeah. Then Master Lee stepped in the way and expelled him. So yeah, then we beat Gal, because that's how we roll stop Andromeda. No, lay down. Lay down. Gal was a fool for challenging you. Oh, he's good, but you've always been stronger. He just wouldn't admit it to himself. Thing is, your prize is going into the cavern beneath the school. To hear Lin tell it, that place is going to challenge even you. Do you know about the cavern? Next to nothing. I know Master Lee forbids us to go in there until our final test. But that's about the only fact I have. I hate repeating stories that aren't my own. Lynn has no such qualms, so go ask her about the cavern. Gao's actions were foolish. He knew he could not beat you fairly, and so he chose to catch you by surprise. Is there anything you need? Perhaps a training session with some of the students. It would do them good. Yes, and the students are on edge from the bandit attack. It would do them good to work some of that out. It is a shame about Kia Min. She holds the record for the most opponents defeated in my little training challenge. No one can challenge her record while she is injured. I have a little something tucked away for anyone who can best Kia Min's feet. That includes you, of course, but any attempt will have to wait until she is healed. I know you held it until recently, but Kia Min has a knack for group fights, and she set a new bar just yesterday. As I said, I have a special incentive for anyone who can beat her performance. But you will have to wait until she is healed before I have enough students. Is there any way to cure Kiamin? Her wound was not mortal, but it was severe enough that I will not let her fight as she is. I suppose you could ask her if there's anything you could do to help. I'll go see if there's any way to cure her wound. Goodbye. I am here if you need anything. I always forget. Student came in. Student Lynn. Master Lee once asked me not to use the style I learned in the Imperial City. It was a fair request, so I agreed. Gao should have known better than to use a forbidden style. What can I do to help you? Do you know anything about the cavern beneath the school? I haven't been here long enough to hear anything but rumors. Everyone prefers not to think about that place. I certainly don't envy you for having to go down there. Take care, I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. Gao was a fool to cheat. Our teacher is a kind man, but he is not soft and doesn't tolerate that kind of thing. You'll face worse things than Gao in the cavern if what I've heard is right. I hope you're ready. What do you need from me? 
Do you know anything about the cavern beneath the schools? No one really knows anything about that cavern, except that Master Lee has strictly forbidden us to go in there. He has always said that it is a place of final testing. I hear whispered rumors that there's something horrible down there. I even asked around town, and there's old, old stories of masters before ours sending students into that cavern, and the students never finding their way out. Do you know what this horrible thing is supposed to be? I don't have a clue, but I don't envy you having to go down there. Then again, you are the strongest of us, as we're so often reminded, so you'll be fine. Oh. Where did you learn about the cavern? This is all rumor, mostly gossip from the people in Two Rivers. As I said, no one really knows what's down there. Well, no one but you, once you tell Master Lee you're ready. Let's go back to my other questions. What do you want to ask about? Goodbye for now. Stay well. After all, how could we learn without our most senior student to guide us? Come in. This day has been full for you, and you still have the cavern to face. If you listen to Lynn parroting the villagers' stories, that place has a dark past, but I'm sure Master Lee wouldn't send you into unreasonable danger. Master Lee assures me I will heal in time. It's a shame, as Smiling Mountain was teasing me just yesterday with some special prize. Smiling Mountain trains students in group combat, and just yesterday I managed to break your record for the number of opponents faced at once. He teased me by saying if I could go one higher, he might have a prize for me. I suppose he might make the same offer to you, if you're up to it. If I could fight, he could likely round up enough opponents for you to make a run at a new record, but I can't face anyone with this wound. Is there anything I can do to help you with your wound? Unless you can speed up time, I'm not sure there's much that can be done. Master Lee has already tended to it. Then again, I vaguely recall a grass or herb that hastens the healing process. Someone like Old Ming might know for sure. He's quite interested in herbs. Would this herb heal you quickly enough that you could fight again? I think so, though I can't remember the name. It was some kind of rare grass, I think. Do you remember if the herb grows around here? I don't think it's a common plant, no. The only person I can think of who might know for sure would be Old Ming. How much would something like that cost? I'm not sure, but if you had to buy it, I'd happily pay you back for the trouble you went through. This wound will heal in time regardless, but I wouldn't complain if it knitted fast. If it knitted faster, all the quicker to return to my training. I think I know enough about this herb. I know you're very busy, but if you happen to have time and be passing by the beach, I'd appreciate it if you would at least ask Old Ming. If I'm lucky, he might know of an herb, and if heaven smiles upon me, he'll know where to find some. If you have to buy anything, let me know what it costs and I'll pay you back happily. It would be worth it to get back to training. Take care. Oh, and if you happen to find anything that might help this wound after you talk to Old Ming, let me know. Uh... Student, student. The students. All right, let's go talk to Old Ming. Well, I'll have to translate for him. Grr. 
need that. Need that. I guess there are still ghosts coming, but everybody's just talking about your fight with Gao. I have not been here that long, but even I know that Gao the Lesser despises you. You certainly taught him a lesson. I just hope that you will be all right in the cavern. Master Lee has forbidden anyone else to go in there, and Student Lin says that place is dangerous. Can I ask you some questions? This is the first task I have been given, and I don't want to get distracted. I think you're already plenty distracted. Master Lee was looking to speak with you, wasn't he? After he left me here, he went back to his house in the center of the school, if you're looking for him. I'm looking for old Ming. Everyone was so scared, and I still am. That sorcerer seemed far too interested in you and Master Lee. Yeah. What am I going to do? What do you... Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to jump. Just a little nervous is all. You're one of Master Lee's students, right? Yes, I've heard about you. Quite skilled, they say. Well, don't mind me. I don't know you. Are you from Two Rivers? Me? No. I'm not from Two Rivers, though I do occasionally come into town to do some business. Today has not been an overly good day for me. I was hoping to make a little more silver than I did selling my wares. Why do you need money badly? Is this going to be like Star Wars where really they're just going to kind of like cycle stuff through? I owe a small amount of silver to a man who works for a gentleman named Gal the Greater. He's quite insistent that I pay, but I'm falling a bit short. It is no more than the price of a small pig, but Gal the Greater takes his debts very seriously. If you can't repay your debts, you'll have to live with the consequences. Now, what will happen if you don't pay the 20 silver? Gal the Greater is not known for his generosity. I... No, I'll figure a, a way out of th this myself. Could I ask you some questions? With all due respect, student, now isn't really the time. I'm quite preoccupied. Someone from around town can help you, I'm sure. I have to figure out how to deal with this little debt I have to Gal the Greater. The price of a small pig, you said? Let me give you 20 silver. Give me silver? Just hand it over? I don't know. Utkua, wo, kokopia, kawa, ya, 
That seems close to begging, and the spirits of my ancestors would be shamed if they thought I was doing that. Oh, so now we have three things we could do. Charm, intimidation, and intuition. But what's... What is this scale off of? We'll try charm. I'm sure you'll find some way to repay me eventually. Is that so? All right then. I'll take the silver, but I will pay you back. I'll take just enough to pay back what I owe. Many, many thanks. That will make his life a lot easier. Gao's father is not a good man to have angry at you from what I hear. Farewell and all that. I will deal with this and I'll go to my farm. See you later, kid. But we weren't done talking. I had questions for you. This boat is still on fire. And it disappeared. Old Ming! Since my wife died, gossip stopped moving around this town as fast as it once did. But I've still managed to hear that you're going into the cavern beneath the school. Listen well, girl. That cave's no place for delicacy. Be sure you're at your best before you face your master's test in there. There were students under other masters who never came back from that hole in the ground. Okay. One of the students was wounded during the bandit attack. Oh yes, I heard about that. Some fool girl out walking on the overlook, wasn't it? Serves her right for not studying or meditating, I say. Well, there is no accounting for youth. She probably wants something to get her moving again. So I'd say you need a poultice made from red silk grass clippings. Merchant Fen Do should have some, but don't let him talk you into clippings of bearded tongue grass. That won't do it at all. What's the difference between the two grasses? Red silk grass will eventually bind the wound and make it so she can get back to her practices. That's why you want it. Bearded tongue grass will make her feel the same, but it's only deadening the pain. It doesn't actually do her any good. For most people, bearded tongue grass would be fine, but I know the fool girl would start practicing again and tear something vital. That could leave her crippled. Thank you for your help. It's no problem, just remember that you need to red silk grass, not bearded tongue. First one will heal her, the second one will just make her feel better. Fighting with an improperly treated wound could end her practices permanently, and that's not worth saving a few silvers. And don't you let that merchant Fendo talk you into the cheap stuff. He might make a few extra silvers, but your friend's health isn't worth his profits margin. Can we talk a bit about the past? 
nano ba yesu isano yuyo ko ne fuk no song ko nano wana nabir good on you history is best taught through stories a teacher lecturing about the past is like listening to paper crumble when you want to hear a waterfall wasoki pa wir u kara so iro everything is lost in the translation Andromeda hears something. Goodbye for now. I wish you well. Thank you. Do -do 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 -do. Spending money today. Bendo. A potential customer is a welcome customer. We talked what last can time. I do for you? And last time you said you didn't have any stock, so you couldn't sell anything. I'm looking for ingredients for a, med a medicinal poultice. Oh yes, I had heard that someone was injured and immediately saw the opportunity to make vast sums of, no, to make a difference. That's it. Anyway, I've checked my stocks, and I only have enough ingredients to make one dose of the salve for a poultice. I'm not sure how much good it will do by itself. Might take a bit of the sting away. Old Ming suggested red silk grass to cure her wound. Oh, now that's thinking, isn't it? Yes, I suppose red silk grass might be just the thing for a wound. I could add it to the poultice. Expensive stuff, that. Very pricey. Hard to acquire, too. Would certainly help her wound, but I know something just as good. Get her some bearded tongue grass and she'll feel better. It won't hasten the healing any, so she'll have to take it easy, but it will deaden the pain. At least you know that it doesn't help you. I'll take the red silk grass. I want her to be able to fight safely. If you think you can justify such opulence to heal something that time would take care of, who am I to argue? I'll just need your payment to prepare the poultice. Surely you're not going to charge full price for a humanitarian cause. Business has been slow. What am I supposed to do? Starve? Yes. More charm into it, intuition and intimidation. A kind man like yourself wouldn't let a student suffer over a few silvers. I suppose it would be bad for my reputation, and you're well known enough that word would get around. Fine, I'll knock off a bit of silver. We negotiated a discount for red silk grass. Here's 40 silver. An excellent choice. I'll mix the salve for you and prepare the poultice. It won't take a moment. There you go. Her pain will fade quickly and the binding effects of red silk grass will make sure she can fight again, if she wants to. Your generosity is extreme, but who am I to complain? Enjoy, and I hope it makes your friend better quickly. Goodbye for now. Do come back when the weight of your silver is slowing you down. Always happy to help. Red silk grass poultice. Still can't get into the pause menu without using the DS. Plot items. A medicinal poultice designed to accelerate the healing of wounds. This poultice is infused with the extract of red silk grass, a powerful herb that hastens recovery by binding the wounded flesh together. Excellent.
Excellent. And the reason why we are really restarting as well, and not just because we have to, but I mean, so I had some difficulty with my rec early recordings and uh, I feel like I've gotten them nipped in the butt at this point. This has been a busy day for us all. Is there something you need? I have a poultice that should help your wound. The sun breaks through the clouds when I hear news like this. Heavens, I can already feel it working. That's amazing. Yes, yes, this should be perfect. The poultice must have cost you some silver. Let me repay you. What did it cost? There is no need to repay me. I couldn't just leave you wounded. That's very kind of you. I can't thank you enough. If you're interested in trying to set a new record for Smiling Mountain's special prize, whatever it is, then I'll be ready. Goodbye for Goodbye. now. Goodbye. Goodbye. And I lost it. No. Did I have a level up? Nope. Nope. Look, Shining Beacon. She's a Shining Beacon. What can I do for you? I am here to serve and trade. What is there to say? She tells me that she is feeling much better. If you wish to face her, I will allow it. I would like to challenge Kia Min's record. Kia Min says that she is feeling well and her wound seems to be already healing. I believe she will provide a fine challenge for you. If you win this match, then I will have a special reward for you. Good fortunes. Good fortunes. Wow. Why don't you join in, Donstar? Well done. As promised, here is a reward for setting a new standard. Kia Min is eager to try again, but I asked her to rest for now. She seems well, despite her earlier injury. Now, is there anything else you wish at the moment? What kinds of items do you sell? Training. For some time, the lesson. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Show me what you have then. Let's see what you can learn. You don't have any money. We have nothing to sell. We're getting more things. You fought well, and the record is yours. As it should be. I'm happy for you, and couldn't care less about the record. It was just good to fight again and feel no pain. I'm a bit tender right now, but that's to be expected. I should be in much better shape before long. What can I do for you? Goodbye. All right. Just trying to clear some stuff out. 
Maybe there's more people that need some help. Open door. Do you have a moment? Oh, senior student, I wanted to thank you for your help earlier. I wasn't sure anyone would come down to our little circle of houses when the bandits attacked. It's out of the way, so I'd almost given up hope. I was glad to help. And I was glad to see you. Though, uh, there's the small matter of my chest. Which is to say, its contents were not there. The bandits had taken almost everything I had. But I know it was still there when, well, when you arrived. It was rather full of silver. A life savings, you know. Would you happen to know what happened? Oops. <laughs> I want to repay you, but I appear to have spent some of it. Oh, my. Well, that's all right. You couldn't have known. I was thinking that while the silver is mine, you deserve a reward for all your good work. What say you to half of the silver that was in that chest? I don't know how much silver was in that chest. It was so long ago. I appreciate that. Here, have half your silver The back. whole village is talking about you, and it's richly deserved. Good day to you. It was 200, huh? Two hundred. The gate must remain closed for now. I've had reports of travelers being attacked by bandits based out of the swamps. Only those with business in the field should leave the village, preferably with proper escort. Hello, Andromeda. Can I help deal with these attacks? No, it's just a few raids on traveling merchants. Outlaws rarely attempt anything bolder for fear of gaining the attention of the Imperial Army. There is some talk of ghosts, of all things, attacking lone travelers as well. I dismiss that kind of thing out of hand. But even if the danger is low, I would prefer that people not wander near the swamps without purpose, especially students of Master Lee. Why cuddle us students? We can take care of ourselves. Certainly you can. But sending half-trained fighters out to find trouble would bring more attention than Master Lee wants. I am merely following his instructions. I don't want to anger him. Is there anything of interest happening in the village? Why do you need to ask? A bandit attack isn't of enough interest? What else would people talk about? Okay, goodbye. Farewell. Fucking rude. The bandits just attacked, yeah, and I saved y'all. What more do you want? No, Andromeda! Mm. Drop back five silver. Hogs. Hogs are oinking. Howdy, y'all. Can we talk? Can we talk? Can we talk? Do we just hang out here? Oh, I heard something else. I heard something else, and then I was like, whoa. I was going to talk to this guy again. Maybe he's got more to say. Gujin. 
Everyone's heard about Gao the Lesser's little outburst. It figures he'd try something like that when he was losing. A rat always flashes his fangs when backed into a corner. Uh, survival. Something else you need. I should let you get back to work. You're right. Because Dawnstar to wants do. to hang out at the door and not come inside. What are you doing? My money. Gao does everything he can to prove that he doesn't need honor or the respect of others. I always knew that Gao child would get himself into trouble. That Gao child. He is a child, isn't he? Hey, I want to talk. I want to talk. I want to talk. Let's talk. No? Nobody wants to talk? So I guess I gotta go talk to Master Lee then. Nothing else down here? It's like I was just hanging out, chilling. The boat's still here. Who is this man? Dialoid Body. Dialoid Body is Smiley Mountain's ultimate series of exercises designed to offset some of the weaknesses the corpulent trainer saw in the exercises he developed earlier in his career. Practicing these holistic uh, exercises strengthens both health and focus. Ah. Body is charm. Or, as body and mind is charm, spirit and mind is intuition, and spirit and body is in intimidation. Close. So wait, and then I have to like learn it. Is that it? I have to learn the the attacks. Let's go talk to Master Lee. Master Lee, Master Lee. Ah, there you are. Have you finished all your business with your fellow students? I expect our next conversation to change a great many things. You should be ready. Yes, Master, I am ready. Wait outside, Gao. I will finish with you later.
Now, my student, there are many things ahead that you must discover about yourself. I trust you know the importance of your destiny. Does it have to, something to do with the bandit assassin? You are an orphan, but you were not abandoned. You were rescued from the Temple of Dirge in the land of howling spirits. You were orphaned by violent action. I take responsibility for it. You see, I used to be more than a humble teacher. To learn of yourself, you must learn more of me. I was once leader of the Imperial Army. I was known as Sun Li, the glorious strategist. I am the brother of Emperor Sun Hai. Why would I believe that? It's too incredible. I will tell you more, but first, we have an uninvited visitor. Gao never could keep his ears to himself, especially when angry. So predictable. He's heard as much as I wanted him to. Perhaps it will give him a little perspective. He should respect even the most humble person, because who knows what lies within. That includes you and me both. I'm not sure I believe you are the Emperor's brother. I've hid it well, along with my shame. He seized your homeland during the long drought. It was an aggressive change in the Empire that would soon bring Death's hand to power. I withdrew my support and tried to rally your people against the siege I had helped plan. A doomed effort. Many died on both sides. Sun Kin, another brother, also fell. Listen, I will tell you how you came into my care. I'm not even sure if this is working. Your people were killed. I am haunted by it, and now the world may join me. The assassin on the beach was a lotus assassin, a minion of death's hand. More will come. Who is this death's hand? He is the right <laughs> hand of the emperor and rules the Lotus Assassins in place of Prince Sun Kin, who was killed at Dirge, a death he may have orchestrated. He shows no hesitation and gave no thought to the lives of those we faced. His influence poisons the Emperor. I have no doubt he is utterly evil. I have never faced him, 
but I know of no one living who has. A dark energy sustains him. That is the armor of a man who has no remorse, no pity. How many brothers are in the Emperor's family? There were three. Emperor Sun Hai, Prince Sun Kin, the Hand of Heaven, and myself, Sun Li, the Glorious Strategist. Age decided our place in the order of things. Sun Hai was the eldest and therefore Emperor. I was next and was head of the army. Sun Kin was the youngest and leader of the monastic order. When you say that the world may join you in being haunted, what do you mean? Your people were guardians, but we did not have a clear idea of what. It is tied to your destiny. I will explain if you want me to move on. Can you tell me anything about my people? Most in the Empire know nothing of the land of howling spirits. I found its people to be honorable, but I can't tell you more than that. There was no time to learn more. Let's move on. Tell me what this has to do with my destiny. You were meant for something important, but because of my actions, it was denied you. Stories about ghosts, the assassin on the beach, you are tied to this. Our dead no longer drift to the underworld. They wander, lost, going mad. In time, they may overwhelm the living. It began when your people were destroyed. Why haven't I witnessed this? We are on the edge of the Empire, and not all spirits make their presence known. We are not immune, but I kept you isolated. This information could endanger you. The first assassin found us by accident. The next attack may not be so... unfocused. To fix the world, you may threaten the power of some dangerous people. The Spirit Cave will make things as clear as they can be. Only you are meant to understand what is within. You will see the corruption of the Spirit Realm for yourself. Is it safe? No, but few places truly are. This has been a lot to comprehend, so take your time. There are instructions inside, and something that belongs to you. An amulet. When you emerge, you will know more about yourself and your destiny than I can explain. And you will better know your enemy. Oh, is that it? I had other questions. It's just going to be me. No Dawnstar. The sturdy gate bears a clay seal. A message is carved across the surface in Master Lee's handwriting. Spirits go mad if denied passage to the underworld. They are strong, but you can fight them. You can't kill the dead, but in defeat they are disrupted and can't reform for a time. You are tied to the reason why spirits wander. Many appeared after your people fell, and some are held in this cave. They are drawn to your amulet. It is a head waiting for you. Be careful. It is desired by many seeking power beyond the mortal realm. I make no apology for these trials, my student. You will come to see how necessary they are. We got it violently explodes. We're going to come across... Well, after our fourth episode, I'm sure we'll be back to where we were. Back to the blind part of the playthrough. Okay, those blow up. Okay, they still blow up. Wild. Wow. I wanted what was in there. 
How about this? 55 gold. Got it back. See? Told you I didn't need you to pay me back. Nope. We're gonna... We're gonna crush some stuff. Crush it. Alright, anyway. Pillar. This pillar of stone contains some sort of metallic object within it. Carved into its crystalline surface is an inscription. The dragon amulet was with you in Dirge. I understand what it does, but you are the one meant to be trained in its use. I am sorry that my actions denied you this. Essence gems are used by healers and upstart sorcerers and are common enough to be wasted on ornamentation. But with this amulet, you can tap their true potential. The Dragon Amulet is your birthright and a tool for focusing your spiritual power. As you travel the Jade Empire, you will find gems that enhance your abilities. Place these gems in the sockets of the Dragon Amulet to gain access to their power. Minor bonus to that. I only have the one gem, so... Your people were adept at using essence gems. I kept it from you because power is a beacon. The forces behind the restless dead will take an interest in you. Even mindless spirits may be drawn to you, just as they were confined here. In achieving your true power, you become a target that many will not be able to resist. Oh no! Runes. Things to do. Hieroglyphics. Okay, yeah, we gotta go this way. The writing on this clay tablet is strangely legible. Rather than just being poorly inscribed, it seems to change as you try to read it. You notice that the amulet you found in this room has started to glow dimly. Hold up the amulet you found in this room. The amulet glows brighter and suddenly the inscription on the clay seal is clearly legible. My student, I hope you realize your importance. The restless dead must be allowed to find their way to the underworld. All of us will suffer if things continue as they are. Seek the source of this problem and eradicate it. That is your purpose and burden. I hope that the basics I have taught you will aid you in setting everything right. Never get used to that. Yeah? Just this little cavern? Ah! Do I have a level up? No, I don't think I do, but I'm close. 95 experience left to go. A clay tablet like the others you ha you previously encountered this script is once again written in your master's hand. Not all spirits succumb to bestial rage. A strong will can transcend death. These beings may have powers beyond any living foe and intelligence to beguile and confuse. 
All will suffer if the dead remain this way. Soon you must leave Two Rivers. Seek the source of this problem, even if it leads to the heart of the Empire. I have old friends who may guide you, but I have old enemies too. The cave is secure. Meditate on what you see here. When you leave, all will be changed. Low steps. Once I eat up, we will cook a beer for you. Take a walk. A student here. I had long forgotten the stench of the living. Walk here, we eat. I ruled this place, taught with wisdom. Why can't I find my way? Where is the voice that should call for to me? You ruled here? Were you a master at the school? Master, student, farmer, whatever I was, I should be dust instead. I am pulled to nowhere. Frustration. The way is blocked and the shepherd is gone. Cannot escape the living. Milling, stinking. You cloud the way. Where do you need to go? Who is the shepherd? To judgment and to be renewed. But the way of things has been unbalanced. No souls return to the living. Oh. What will become of the world if no souls are replenished? Eventually there will be an end. You are blind to the danger, blind to the truth. You can only understand if you see. I will make you see. I will make you understand. Out of there. How did I do that? That seems like real rough. Why does everyone have weird ass claw hands? My powers stretched thin. Bled away. 
and you are too small, too mortal to truly understand. But small things can move beneath the notice of others. Your master hopes that you will grow strong while he leads the predators away. His reasons are clouded, but you must find a way through the fog. You are the one who can hear, the one who can act. Search, but look also for yourself. You are a spirit monk, and you are the last. Who are you? I do not have the strength to answer. I am cut open, and the way to the underworld is shut. Spirits are lost with no shepherd, no guardians. You must restore us. The amulet is a focus. It will guide you. But when you know both sides of the Veil of Death, ability alone will save you. I have a moment of power. A window to grant knowledge of a primal energy. You must choose between ice and fire, and I will grant the skill to bring them to your hands. If I choose one, am I prohibited from learning the other? I have energy enough only to instill knowledge of one, not both. Knowledge of the other may come in time, but not today. Now choose ice. Emotions burn, but the spirit can also turn cold and strike with grim resolve. Command this, and you chill the hearts of your enemies. Yours is the power of Ice Shard. Is this the kind of style Master Lee cautioned Gao against? There is no inherent villainy in any martial action, only in the hearts of those who wield them. If you rely too much on simple force, then you cannot act without it. I can do no more. I must fade. Pity those spirits that have grown twisted. You will come to know their pain when life leaves you. Pity the world if you fail, spirit monk, for you are the last. Now you said that. What is that? Style gained a shard. We got a huge bones. All right, level up. Level up. Full health. Scroll stand. Jade Empire Bestiary, Volume 3. To kill a spirit. A wise monk once asked, how can you kill a thing that is already dead? The answer is simple. You cannot. You can, however, disperse a spirit. This is not the same as killing, but it has a similar effect. It is important to remember that spirits are virtually immune to man-made weapons. You must confront spirits with martial, magic, or transformation styles. Never underestimate the strength of spirits. They may appear insubstantial, but they can still be deadly to the living. We got a chest. We got a flawed scholar gem and a structured body.
We got a scroll stand. The Nature of the Spirit, Volume 1. Mankind has long known that we are not alone in this world. Descended from heaven, risen from the ground, present all around us are spirits. These beings often go unseen, but when they choose to interact with us, the effect is usually profound. But what are these beings? Are they people who have died? Are they servants created at the beginning of the world by the great dragon? Are they something else entirely? Or are they all of the above? In my research, I have managed to find and communicate with a number of them. I contacted some through priests or relatives when it was a spirit returned from the dead. But other encounters were much stranger. And then, we got another chest where we got the Iron Palm, the anvil. One of three meditation doctrines required to understand the Iron Palm fighting style, the aspirant must possess and study all three before he or she can safely attempt to train in this demanding art. The body must become the anvil, the unyielding surface on which the style is shaped. Sweeping attacks and powerful charges impact so heavily it is like the meeting of hammer and steel, each blow conveying as much energy back to the aspirant. If the body can't withstand and redirect this energy, Iron Palm is potentially more damaging to the user than the target. Interesting stuff. It's like that's an interesting way to do it. It's like, you know, you cannot use these styles until you've gained them all back. Portal. Shockwaves, dude. What are you doing out here? You are supposed to be meditating on the amulet and what you have learned for at least another day. I had a vision. It was very sudden. A vision? Oh, of course you did. A natural reaction to the great amount of information I have placed before you. It may have something to do with your amulet. Uh, tell me... Did you learn anything about the destiny that stretches before you, or what has led you this far? She said I was the last spirit monk. What does that mean? Be careful. I do not want you to be misled by sources I cannot anticipate. Your people had warriors by that name. I regret that my actions caused their downfall. Twenty years ago, the Empire was mired in drought. Your people revered the water dragon, so their temple of dirge was the ideal place to ask the heavens for help. But the water dragon governed more than just moisture. The drought was part of the natural order, and not for mortals to alter. The spirit monks denied us access. The emperor was incensed. He asked me to plan a display of power that would force their compliance. As our armies marched, I realized how wrong we were. Did you try and stop your brother? He could not be dissuaded. I fled with you as the rest of your people were killed. You must discover for yourself what being the last of your kind means. What else did this vision reveal? You are only to retrieve the amulet, learn to place gems in it, and meditate on your future. I don't want you to be distracted. Master Lee, there's still no sign of her. What? What is it, Wu? I'm sorry, my mind was elsewhere. Dawnstar, as I told you, Master. She went missing after Gao's men were discovered in the school. The state of her room suggests some sort of fight took place. I see. She is not there. No, Master Lee. There's no sign of her. 
I see. This may prove useful. Thank you, Jing Wu. You may go. Your appearance put Gao's disgrace out of my mind, but it would seem that your early exit from the caves has come at just the right time. What did you mean when you said this will be useful? I didn't mean to appear callous. I'm sure Dawnstar is fine. What I meant was that this will serve as a final measure of your abilities. What better way to show mastery over your abilities than to turn them towards helping your fellow student? Seek her out. I doubt she is in the school, and someone would have seen her if she was in the village. You might want to try the surrounding marshland. Uh, let's see here. I have more questions about what I've seen. Questions must wait. Time is critical. Take some silver. I asked Fendo and the others to stock essence gems in preparation for this day. Hopefully they have done so. You learned in the cave how single gems are viewed as trinkets and used by self-professed healers and would-be sorcerers, but you can unlock their full potential. Make sure you have everything you need when you leave to find Dawnstar. Do not cloud your mind with anything else. When you return, your course will be clear. Yes, sir. Alrighty. Alrighty. Everyone. This is where we are going to stop this episode for today. Sorry if you heard me screaming, kids. That just happens when you leave the door open. It's either that or barking dog. Screaming kids and barking dog. Not my kids. Um, yeah. So, went down to the spirit cave. We got ice powers now, but we also learned that we are the last of the spirit monks. So, we need to do what we can. To save the world now, I guess. So that is what we will be doing. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, leave a like down below. Uh, if you liked it, dislike. If you disliked it, uh, leave comments. You know, let, let's talk. And uh, subscribe if you haven't for more content just like this. I am thinking eventually that we will get through all of Bioware's content. I am a fan of Bioware, so we can get through all of their content. Check out the Mass Effect playlist in the opposite corner of where I'm at, and up above me is the Jade Empire playlist. If you want to see the actual reactions to these first four episodes, it's rough because I have bad recording and bad audio, but they're there. And we're restarting here because I don't have Xbox Live Game Pass Ultimate anymore. And we, I bought it on Steam, so we're just going through it there. Uh, saves do not transfer over. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of Jade Empire.